For a storied program like Arkansas, few days can be called historic. Well, today, some hog history is being made and close to home. Back-to-back -back games here at Simmons Bank Arena marks the first ever doubleheader featuring men's and women's Razorbacks in Little Rock. Being from the state and wanting to see it, being a part of it is really cool. The ladies kicked off the day against the city's own Trojans, and the boys later faced Valparaiso. With these in-state opponents playing for the very first time, it wouldn't take till tip to have unfamiliar sights. You know, I grew up rooting for them, still will root for them, and now all of a sudden it's a, it's a competition. A sound all too familiar. I said, what are you going to do when you hear that hog call for the first time? I said, because usually we're the ones doing it, you know, for them. And even some holiday cheers. It was raining threes early on for Arkansas as Atiana Golden drains one and Amber Ramirez follows. Trojans not going away easy, Teal Battle banks it in and Kristen Vornez also goes off the glass. Hogs lead by 14 after two quarters but start cooking in the third. Chelsea Dungy drives, draws a foul and one. The ensuing free throw gives the Star Razorback career point 1000 and a standing ovation. Golden finds room and an easy bucket. Not as easy for Aaron Barnum, but it falls through. Razorbacks pull away for an 86-53 dub. The 20th ranked Razorbacks add another to the win column, now 11-1 on the year. But both coaches agree that this in-state meetup was a win for the sport, the state, and the chance of more games like it. I think it was a great day for women's basketball in our state and I'm just excited to be a part of it. This is what it's all about for women's basketball in the state. And, you know, there needs to be more games like this in the state. And there's so many people that hugged our necks and said, thank you for getting this game down here. It's the first time we've seen a game. A lot of firsts. I think, you know, we've already got it planned for next year, but I hope this becomes something we can do every single year. Our game needs it. Next up, the men's turn in Little Rock, this time against Valparaiso. And these hogs start the same way the ladies did, hot from the perimeter. Adriel Bailey sinks it from deep, and Isaiah Joe joins in on the action. Hogs bench on their feet, and so are the fans. Get your popcorn ready for this one. Razorbacks jump on a loose ball. Outlet to Mason Jones. No look pass to Bailey. That slam deserves another look. Momentum all with the Hogs. Jimmy Witt Jr. crossover. Jumper. Rims in. Arkansas takes over early, but Valparaiso would come back and take the lead. Crusaders 34, Hogs 32 at half, with the Razorbacks fall for just the second time this year. Let's see how this one finished. Stephanie, show them the final score.